Last night I was having some weird problems with my own hard drive getting checksum errors. I now have the dreaded blinky, let me turn this off, blinky yellow light and the out of memory error. I'll keep my hand over here so you can see I'm holding the camera. So yeah, we're out of memory just booting nothing. And that sucks. And then it'll guru and then it'll blink. Watch the power light. And then here we go with the blink. In a second. It'll just reset or I'll click. Oh, not enough memory. Blink. And we repeat. I think one of the 8,000 wires that I said I would clean up and never did might have came off. So I have to take that apart and fix it in my own stuff. That sucks. It's one of these days. So I've been messing with this for a couple hours. It's like in the afternoon now, 1.30. It keeps booting and saying it has no RAM. Out of RAM guru, you saw the blinking light. I removed the DMAC, put diagram in, put DMAC back in. That happens. As I was saying, I took the DMAC out, put it back in, deox it, blah, blah, blah. I think this socket's on its last legs. This socket's seen more abuse than Jesus making bread because uh, that's the prime candidate for the spaghetti noodle here on this board and uh, what sucks is everything's still there tight wise on the wire side. The problem is I have to replace a socket which means I have to remove all these wires. I have to take some highly detailed photos because I'm not pin tracing all this crap again. It took me 20, 30, 40 hours and uh, we'll see where I get. So the idea is I have the sockets. You can see them sitting on the power supply up here. I have a couple of them left. 38 of 40. They all need sockets, but these PLCCs have been stretched to their limit for the past 30 years. And this DMAX, an original socket, it was in the acid damage, hanging on by a thread, the whole nine. So I'm just going to do it and see how far I get and screw it up. If not, it works great. It's wonderful. I was going to use this in the BFG 9060 review, and it started acting up. Last night on me, I was cleaning up the hard drive and... Scotty the SD had all these weird read errors. I'm like, oh no, not again. So it was running for many hours. Anywho, I'm gonna get started. I'll see you in a little bit or a couple days. Holy crap, it's uh like 2.30 or something like that. And I just finished getting the socket out. Had to basically crack the crap out of it. The bottom where all the wires were, still are, but they're a mess and I took a lot of photos. So I replaced the socket, rewired the whole damn thing with all my goofy mess of wires that you can see on that probably picture right there. And it's doing the same damn thing. Not enough memory. I don't know what happened. Everything was fine and then it just blew up. I thought it was the buster or the DMAC. I'm gonna put another socket in here on the buster. You know, I haven't pulled the Agnes out yet. Why would it be bad? Why would it mess up? Let's do that live. That's really tight. I'll even deoxid it. Really good snap on that one, so I doubt it. Low high, video sync, blah blah blah. If it worked, I would get a ROM, but I'll get a no memory, because I don't know why the Super Buster, which I've actually replaced the whole Buster. Nope. What's next? Ramsey? Let's do you too. Why not? Decent snap. But what the hell? We'll do Gary too, because... That's never been out. Solid snap. Board's getting greasy now. <laughs> Everything was working perfect. And now it's not. I don't know. I'm going to replace the uh, sockets for Buster and Ramsey. Mr. T edition for my 4000. We're going to slap that in here now too. That takes the CPU out of the equation too. And the FPU. Because it's on board. And nope. It blinks faster now. Look at that. Super fast blink. Alright. That's not the CPU. Let me take this out, jumper back, I'll be back. Back to 30, same thing. 40 minutes later, Ramsey's out, cleaned. One socket. Back to the drawing board. I'm going to do the next socket now. 
Super Buster. Okay, so as a test, I pulled my chip ram out. So Mr. Tim sent me my Buster back, so I'm going to use it because I know it works. Low, high. I'm hoping it's the Buster socket. That would be sweet. One mega chip ram. Just for shits and giggles. I know it's not going to be it, but you know. Oh well, back to the drawing board. 6.33 p.m. I ate a burrito and uh, made it myself. Big old hoss. A 1.5 pounder. I'm going to do the last socket that I'm doing, and that's Super Buster. And I don't know why this Amiga is doing what it's doing. But that is super loose. So super looser. Super Buster. I'm half tempted to just crack this socket and start breaking the pins off and putting them in. Because that's a easier way to do this. This solder sucker has seen about 3,500 clicks and it's barely sucking anymore. It doesn't stick, the spring's breaking, it just randomly fires off. This ain't my day. Holy crap. Final buster socket is out. Okay, so new socket's in, facing down towards me. Get a good click. Nice snap. Look, I'm getting tired of this. Uh, I'll have to dig further. I don't know what the hell happened, but... That's some crazy crap. Look, I am freaking at a loss on this one, man. This one. I'm stumped for a little bit because I'm tired. Well, it's another day on Amiga 3000 Tower of pain in the butt. And uh, last time we checked, I socketed new sockets in the Ramsey, in the Buster, and the DMAC. I also couldn't get it to do anything except Guru and give me a weird out of RAM recovery message. Let's see if I get anything on diagram. All right, so anyway, I got it to boot something. Testing CIAs, now this screen, heh, <laughs> just flashing. Okay, that's normal, because NTSC will fail. CIAs are good, that's great. Let's do a fast scan of the 16 meg area. Let's see what happens. Yeah, 14, 15, 16 megs. 17, 18. Yeah, 16 megs of RAM. Great. Non-usable memory. One kilobyte. Huh. Test detected the chip mem. So I'm doing a call to help a user out over the old Facebook or Messenger. Or I only have 31 kilobytes of chip RAM. I have zero errors. What the hell is wrong with that? Let me mess around with this and I'll see what I come up with. Okay, so I went through the test on the chip RAM. It says I don't have a chip RAM, but then it tests, uh, where is it? Yep, in the blue down there, it says I have uh, tested two MIGs. I have 1.5 MIGs and 512K are bad. And got some reds here. Doesn't tell me which ones of these there are. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull all of them out. So here we go again. This is one mega chip. I'm going to turn this on and, and I'm going to do that extended chip RAM test again. Now I only have one meg, so 1024K it should stop at. So we should have all okay. But see this red? What the hell is up with that? I have 8,193 errors already. And yeah. So we're losing RAM right now, and I don't have any RAM in it. So, you know, that's my day. How's your day going? Now, for Mr. Tim's 3000 Tower, you saw I socketed those. And they're just, you know, regular SIL turn pins that you break into the rows. And that's fine. I could do those, but God, that was a pain in the butt. And then I have to risk damaging these. I don't have any more chip ram because I gave it all away. I also ran a voltage meter check across these ceramics to make sure they're getting 5 volts and they all are. And uh, yep, the saga continues on a board that was working fine and day 3 or 4 on the 3000 tower that was working and then blew up. I replaced uh, yep, U202, U203, the two uh, pal gal chicks that hang out here. They are part of the chip RAM system. I also socketed the DMAC Buster or DMAC Buster Ramsey 
replaced every single chip except amber on the board, tested it with the unit below me here, and uh, they all work. I pulled out each chip RAM of the one meg that I can, put it in the other machine, test fine, nothing wrong with it. Pulled out all 16 megs of RAM, tested it in the other machine, test fine. That was a pain in the butt. The 16 megs of RAM is showing on this board with diagram. It's chip RAM that says I have 32 kilobytes of chip RAM, less than a Commodore 64. And you need that to initiate the, you know, bootstrap and start the machine because that's what Magic and the ROMs make video come out through the chipset. There's no memory, you can't do all that. I can boot Diagram because Diagram will map to another memory area and it says, hey, you ain't got no chip RAM. But if I use Diagram and uh, run the detect the chip RAM slow testy thing, it says I have 1.5 megs of chip RAM and 512 unused. About 32k of chip RAM. Figure that one out. I don't know. I went through the schematics and these 646s that you can't find that I had but gave to another repairer. Uh, yeah, nine of them. And uh, yeah, you can't find them anymore and that's part of my glue logic. The next step is to bust out the logic probe and hopefully it's something really stupid like a 7437N or F37N or something that I actually have a chip of. I don't know. There's no tower. I make a PCB Explorer. It's me and beeping. Continuity testing and the layout is different than a D. So there's no, you can't, it doesn't work that way. Now chip layout to pin out continuity where they're going pretty much is the same um, because that is how an Amiga works. However, it's a lot different with having ZIP20 for chip RAM versus DIPs that were, would be here normally and then you move them over to here for chip RAM. And, but it has like a built-in daughter card with the Paula reel down low and it's just, it's a different beast and it wasn't meant to be a desktop. It is a tower and it sits in here like this and it's massive and for some reason I only have an unusable 32 kilobytes of chip RAM. I think I've said it before, but yeah, hard drive errors led to, hey, I'm gonna reboot this thing, and I rebooted it, and it guru with that weird message. I even swapped the Agnes out with another 8372B that I pulled out of a DKB mega chip right here. Another 8372B. I've posted some posts on various Facebook groups to limited, to no avail, and it's hard for people to really take a gander, so I brushed up the English and posted on A1K. See what those German guys can figure out. They're real smart. I'm not. I just pretend to be on TV. <laughs> so until later, we'll check back. It's like, I gotta get to bed. And I'm back to work, like on site, most times now, which makes repairs harder. I have 11 to do, 11. 11 machines to repair. And I'm back to working on site full every day. And that puts a hamper on it because a lot of times when I'm working from home and it's not busy, I work on these. I'll check back if I find any updates and hopefully it's something stupid. It'd be great. Yeah.